In this video, I'm going to go over transparent backgrounds within your logo. This is really important to understand why. Let's say you have a t-shirt like this and you want to add an image to it. All right, so let's upload an image or a logo that I just created and the PDF is the best one to upload because that's a vector file. So as you can see right here uh, on the girl's t-shirt, it, it has this transparency to its background. So you cannot, it doesn't look like a box. See how that looks? Now if I added something in the background, let's say I added a box or something like that, let's, let's say I added this in the background and I sent it to the back, well it would look like this. And if this was white right here, then it would just have a box around this. So it looks much better when it looks like this and it has this transparent background as opposed to having some kind of box around it. So you want to make sure when you do get your files, it has a transparent background. You also want to make sure that all your files are the vector files. So you could put them on t-shirts like this and when you get it printed to you, they don't look blurry or uh, pixelated or anything like that. That's really important. So here's some of the files that we do give you. All of them have a transparent background, but the JPEG. The JPEG is the only one with a white background, and that's good because sometimes you wanna use that for letterheads and stuff like that and have your white background. Here's the PDF, my favorite. It's a vector file, so you could put it on anything, big billboards, and it won't get pixelated. So that's really important. Here's a PNG. It has a transparent background. Some people ask, hey, how come it looks black or gray or whatever? And that depends on your viewer. So I'm using Mac and I have a setting that's just a gray background on the viewer. So it really just depends. And then we give you a uh, web-based one that you could put on your website. And that's good because what if your website is black or gray or purple in the background? You still want that transparency in the PNG. And uh, so that's basically it. We also give you a SVG there. But that's what you really want to know when getting your files so you can put them on t-shirts and all that stuff. This is really important to know about your transparencies.